Harry Buddy from our headquarters here in Monrovia, James Descartes, along with Freddie and Aram here for another uh, week of two-minute drills. For, uh, Aram, Pacific League starts this week, and uh, this is the Passing and Star News Game of the Week. It's Crescenta Valley at Muir. Yeah, for all the talk that we've heard, you know, about Muir this season, about, uh, about Arcadia even, um, this league title still goes through Crescenta Valley, uh, still goes through Burbank. Um, until th that changes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not going to be buying Muir or Arcadia as, you know, a league champion type team. they got to get over the hump of these teams. And when you talk about that, you know, you're talking about Muir Freddy, which hasn't beaten Crescenta Valley since 2013. That's right. And I think I was there. I'm pretty sure I was there <laughs> the last time that happened. It was yeah. a road game, and, and you know. Um, well, you know, you know, I don't, I don't buy all that stuff the road goes through. That, that, that would mean that Charter Oak all, you know, the road goes through Charter Oak and the Hacienda win. I think South Hills is clearly better. I think sure. Diamond Ranch is clearly better, and you can make an argument even more South Hills. I think when you look at what's happened this year, you know, Mir and what they've done, they went on the road and they beat Charter Oak. They're the first team to really lay it on them, and they handled them pretty good. They went on the road. Uh, despite what happened up up, uh, up north, they were winning that game handling. They come back with suspensions and beat, uh, traditionally, it's a pretty good Rancho Christian team last week. Brian Love is playing absolutely great at quarterback. I just think there's a different feeling altogether at Mir. And look, Crescenta Valley, they're also undefeated, and you're right, Aram, and you know, the past few years, you know, they have been one of the teams to beat. But I look at their non-league schedule right now, the win over Montebello, maybe Santa Fe, teams that have struggled. I'm not sure I'm buying what they've done in non-league to beat 3-0 as much as I am in what Mir's done to get to this point. And I think with this game being at home, and I think with Mir, just you know, the last few years and how it's gone in the, in, in the Pacific League, I think they know this is a game. But they're in Division 9, and they were ranked number 3 in last week's polls, and, and the new polls are going to come out this week. They win this game, and, and you talked about this, I think, er, er, maybe in the one more thing. This is these, this is a critical game because with all those teams in the Pacific League, you've got to make the playoffs, and this is one of those games that you win this right off the bat. Um, it not only does that for your playoffs, but I think you're one of the league favorites right then and there. I, I disagree with some of what Freddie said because I do feel that the burden of proof, the benefit of the doubt, um, goes to Crescenta Valley and the burden of proof goes to Mir. Um, Mir has to prove that it can get by these teams. It hasn't done it since 2013. There have been good starts to other seasons, excitement going in the league, then they run into Crescenta Valley and poof, it ends. So until Mir or Arcadia can get over these types of humps, I, I just don't put stock in, in, you know, in, in their, you know, Yes, they're a championship contender, but are they the favorite or one of the favorites? No, not until Crescenta Valley gets beat yeah. by them. It's just that simple. And you know, you can say, well, Charter Oak, you know, they're all for. You know, would you want anybody, you know, uh, you know, over them and still say the road in the Hacienda goes through them? No, but Crescenta Valley's three and zero. You know, they're not struggling. They look darn good again. Yeah, against bad competition. I just think I've seen too many mirror seasons come to this point. Recently, and they get you know in trouble in, in this game, um, specifically this game, uh, you know since 2013. Yeah. I, I just sense Jim, you can talk about it. Yeah. If you know, I think it might have started even last basketball uh, baseball season mm -hmm. when Love was there and they mm -hmm. had to run. There just feels like maybe a little a little culture change over there, and Could maybe be. that's that's fallen into the the football season. I. There's just a different feeling and sense to me over at year right could, now you could than in probably, the past. You could probably take that through basketball season. You know, when they made that run in the playoffs right. in basketball. Right. Um, I think it's kind of like translated over. I don't recall Aram. Maybe day, day day back in the day when we were, you know, when he was quarterback, that the that Muir has had a quarterback as productive as Brian Lowe is right now. I mean, the kid's absolutely doing his thing. What do we take out of their performance last week, Aram, without Jaleed Stevens? Well, I mean, obviously, like Freddie said, it was a great performance. When you see, you know, you have ten guys out, and one of them's your leading rusher. Um, you and, know, and most of these guys are on defense, uh, apparently. That, that Stevens is, but I mean, you know, they still roll up a bunch of points. And yeah, I, I, you you know, you mentioned baseball, then you got to mention Arionis Harrison. Yep. he's another one of these stud athletes yes, that right. plays baseball, and he's also you know having a good season playing football. Um, 
I'm not so sure it's 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 that a light went on last school year. I just think about like I said earlier this season. Um, every few years, every five six years, it seems like Mir gets this you know run of good athletes that actually stick around, stay in the school. It happened like you said with that Day Day team uh, that went to the semifinals and darn near should have been in the finals mm -hmm. uh, in 2013, the, year, the yeah. last year they beat Crescenta Valley, mm -hmm. and it's happening now. Yeah. They just have three or four of the best athletes in the Valley, you know, on this roster, yeah. and, it, and it's paying off. I just think Mears in, they're in such a great position. You know, they haven't won a championship, I think, since they tied for their last one in, in 1989. Right. They won one, I think, in 88. You're talking CIF. Yeah, with Brownfield. Yeah, it's I thought that was time. 86 was their last championship. Last cha oh, uh, outright championship. They had one where they tied for the title. It was 89. How do you tie for a CIF? Like, there was no one back in those days. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Um... But I, I coached some of those. I mean, I, I covered some of those Mir teams. Oh, in the you too? No. That must have been awesome. When, when they, 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 they were pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And that's when they were scheduled. You know, they were scheduling up playing oh. Loyola's and all those schools. Yeah, I remember. And back in the playoffs, they had good teams. But they would run into, you know, I think twice St. Francis. Bonds had good teams. Great teams in the playoffs. They're in Division Nine now. Because mm -hmm. of this, you know, what Aaron has talked about, where they've been struggling and haven't been able to give over them. They're in this division now. Where I think they've got to take advantage of it. Um, they've got to take advantage of one. They've got to get through league. But you're talking about someone like Covina mm -hmm. is a team they might have to go through once they get in the playoffs. Mir is more than capable of that after beating a school like Charter Oak. Um, so I just think it just feels like one of those years where everything is going to come together. You saw it almost all come together for the baseball team, and I think this is going to be one of those games on Friday that they really take their big step forward. I mean, they're 3-0 no at this point, yeah. but I think this is the one, and, and, and Aaron could be right, you, you have to go through CD. I don't entirely buy that, I'm kind of looking at what they've done this year, but if they do take that big step, um, i like them to, to possibly run the table. I still think Arcadia is going to be really good when you see who they face, but... Uh, nothing that Mir's done to this point led me to believe that they're not the real deal. I think you've got a pretty good handle on the on the air on the area. Aaron, uh, we had to make a spread on this game. What you make it? Oh, well, we're going to talk about spreads, yeah, spreads later. Speed, yeah. um, I, 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 to me, this just looks like a pick 'em game. Wow. Um, and, and and going off what Freddie said, this is the kind of game that Mir, if it's going to win a CIF championship, if it's going to win a league championship, because this is a really tough league this year. Yep. These are the kinds of games that it has to prove that it can win. I, I think Freddie's picking Mir. Yeah, I got Mir. I'm, yeah. I'm picking Mir too. Uh, For all that, you're picking Mir? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so, okay. so I see what you're saying. You're saying it, it still goes to them, but you like Mir in this game. Right. Uh, I just see some similarities to 2013 here. Um, I, I, but it wouldn't surprise me if, if Crescenta Valley comes out and shows who's boss. And James, you're going to be there. You get to walk into the studio. I'll probably be there, too. Are you, are you really? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Wow. I've been told that, you, you told me this last year, you get your cheeseburger at, at Mir, you get a you get a bun with, with, a, uh, with a burger, and yeah. you get the, the yeah, splash. You don't, you don't get a slice of cheese, at you least. You get a nacho cheese. Yeah, yeah. you get and, a squirt and, of cheese. And you get to hear the best drum line in the San Gabriel. No question about yeah. it. By the way, you don't get a slice of cheese, <laughs> you get a squirt of cheese. Yeah. By the way, just that's how it was before. Remember this, Ric Flair always said this, to be the man, you got to beat the man. And I'm taking uh, Christina Valley. Mir has to show me that if this is the time. If they can do it, then Friday night is the night. I will be there. Aaron will be there. Make sure you're following us. The ticker down below has all the information on the game, and that is the first of our two-minute trips. Thank you.